guys, welcome to part two, and it is on the plan B, and I'll tell you why. Uh, the truck rental that I was going to rent from that girl, uh, she kind of disappeared. I uh, couldn't get a hold of her, and so I reached out on Facebook, Marketplace, and there was a lot of response to that actually. So I said hello to this young man from Mineral Wells, and uh, he's beat me out there this morning. And we're going to get that trailer moved on out to Perry. So stick with us. Look and see if there's any of this stuff right here that I can put in there. I don't really have to come out too far, but we'll come out a little ways. You know what? Most of that stuff is super rotten. Let's uh, maybe we can find some big rocks or something. Let's go up to the where the trailer's in and look. You know what, there's some rocks right here. Let's pick some of these up. So the first thing that I want to do is we'll uh, we'll disconnect the gas line off the trailer, get it pulled out of the way, clean up a few things here, and I suspect we're going to need this area right here to move it around. So we'll move this wood over to this spot right over there. So let's uh, let's do the gas line first. Maybe I was thinking since I have this battery disconnect that I could leave it hooked up. Let's see so what happens here. Uh oh, not getting nothing. Crap. Alright, let's get the jumper out. See what happens. Oh yeah, okay, it's on. 
Shut that battery's dead. Let's see if it'll if it'll move these up and down. Boy, not really. It barely did. I should come out wide because I'm going to come back this way and stay out of all this. Now listen, just pretend like I don't have a camera, okay? <laughs> Dang battery I had in here. I had this switch off, just like that. And what it wasn't disconnected. And whatever is in there that's peeling a little bit of power mm -hmm. off that battery killed it. But I got a little jumper in here. I tested it and it worked, okay. sort of. So I raised it up a hair. The jumper didn't like it, it stopped. But I think it, it, it looks like we're gonna need to get it up a little more than that, just by looking at that. It may be close. I'm like pulling them without this. Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, so uh, what? You think you can make just a, a U-turn right out of this spot? Oh, I see how that is. Oh yeah. Keep turn to hitch up. Okay, uh, okay, so do you think? Now watch this. So either you make a U-turn out of here, which is one way, or cut, or you could back it up. Oh, if I slide that hitch back. Yeah. You build a U-turn it. We get out on the road. Then I'll put the hitch backwards. I'll keep it. Oh, okay. If you can get it U turned around here, I don't know if that's big in the spot. And I can move that thing out of the way, that gun target. We can move that. Yeah, move that gun target out of the way. And then. So maybe you come in I here at angle. Move. Yeah. Will she turn that tight? It'll turn that tight? Okay.
Let me tell you, nobody ever drives on it, and it rained last week pretty heavy. So, you worried about going in between them trees?
guys. So we got this all done. Brian, thank you. You good man. You took care of it. I mean, this guy is a crazy driver. I didn't know my truck would do 80 miles an hour until I tried to keep up with him with that trailer. Crazy. No, you're crazy. Of course you do this all the time. That's how you drive your race car, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, bud. And uh, you know what? We'll see you later, right? You got it. Well, I don't know. I mean, God, I really want that money. Or, or... Oh, you want some money for this? I thought you were doing it for free. Well, I mean... I, I thought you did it because you wanted a cold beer. Really? Oh, well. Oh, you wait, want Wait some... a second. Do I get money and a cold beer? All right. There it is. Thank you. Gracias, senor. Now, let's go have a quick beer. Mm -hmm.